So in this one, we've got two players literally getting into a physical brawl over some stolen items, and a DM who seemingly dodged a bullet with a problem player. So if you like this video and you want to see more of me, make sure to give it a like and subscribe, and let's get into it. This is Taylor's Tavern Tales, and let's get into the RPG Reddit horror stories. Dodging a bullet. Light story, but here it goes. With my friends, we've decided to expand the playgroup to new players, and I got in contact with a guy who wanted to join a game. We're messaging at the start in order to evaluate things, and I asked him, what type of character do you usually like to play? Since our campaign is a very narrative and mainly centered around high fantasy themes and tropes, so we want to find a good fit. He goes, I have a love for evil characters, but I've seen that it pays to cooperate with the group. Otherwise, campaigns don't last long, so I mostly tend to create create neutral characters that often go in two directions. In the first, I aim to create characters that are simple in both their looks and backstory, but stuffed with irony, phobias, bizarre fears, and funny cartoony details. In the second, I create characters with very selfish egos or firm convictions that tend to benefit in creating messes or spite, even during the battles or personal moments, to push others out of their comfort zones and make things happen. Of course, I have several characters that I've already created, and at least two or maybe more of these I would like to bring into the campaign. Yeah, I think we will pass on him. Yeah, OP, I think you were smart to pass on this one. I mean, you can have a love for evil characters and play evil characters without making it all about you and a bad time for everybody else in the group. You can have a character that only cares about themselves, but realizes that they need to work with a group in order to further their goals. That's a way that you could play an evil character while still working with the group and it's still being a fun time for everybody else and yourself. And if you like to play characters like this, no hate to you at all. I think it's just definitely not a good fit for OP's group, especially when OP said that this game was more narrative focused. You need to have players that are willing to actually participate with the group. I think I'm gonna move on to the next one. It turned out bad. This is a follow-up to what happened in my post, Player thinks D&D is a priority. I had messaged all the players and DM of what happened and my intentions for this session. I expanded that AP, whole player had been entirely disrespectful outside of game due to a request that his character, a kleptomaniac homebrew small character called a Yordle Rogue, either tone down his thieving against me or alternatively use a base role that is not his modifiers while stealing, exploded at me for how I was breaching his RP and how he made his character. I also told them that I know I had to respond in a rather Dickinson way towards his character and metagamed trying to secure my items. All of y'all gave advice as to why my character would secure items outside of metagaming, which was appreciated. But AP would have responded anyways, as he did if I gave the explanation. I chose to try and be better and be someone they know as a friend. I don't live the farthest from the DM's house, but I always arrive a couple minutes early to hang out and be ready before the session. DM and one other player always were there as they lived in the same neighborhood. We talked and I guessed the role of a d20 twice correctly, and we all had a Laugh. The other player showed up and we had pizza and ice cream waiting for AP. Oh boy, y'all would have never guessed. A whole player that berated me for not making D&D a priority in my life was taking a nap and was late by two hours. When he finally arrived, we jumped in immediately into the game, had some fun, got about halfway through a dungeon, and called it a night. The others started leaving, but the DM, AP, and I stayed for a bit. I started my apology, but before I could even finish, he said, it's fine you acted that way, but you shouldn't have tried to change my character though. Ensue the same argument, him getting more and more defensive about his character and more and more insults. And I was trying to explain that D&D should be fun for all players. And if he does something that makes another player feel bad, he should take it into consideration. The DM jumped in once to say that nothing of great value was stolen, but I told him it affects the party or at least another player in a negative way and it should be addressed. Not only that, but he should apologize for throwing insults at another 
another player. The DM did nothing. AP started insulting how I felt, saying my feelings didn't matter to him, and I started to get riled up. I told him it should, since he was playing D&D with friends, and he went on about how fragile I was. I did something that's not right. I started firing back. Bunch of insults thrown back and forth, the DM stepped in and said no more insults. I told him that he started it, and that he was being an a-hole. AP said, yeah, I'm an a-hole, and you're just a fragile B. I told him that he can find out how fragile I am. He said he could kick my butt. Little side part, I'm 6'4", 270 pounds. Pounds, played football throughout high school and fought my little brother's bullies that were in my grade. I told him he couldn't fight a fly, and if he tried, he would need more than an inhaler when I was done with him. That's when he broke my glasses with a punch. I shoulder checked him, which put him on the wood floor. The DM said enough. I stopped only for that reason. I stopped because my friend asked. AP got up and started insulting me again. I put the lenses back in its place. They pop out sometimes if I get hit hard enough, which was easy fixable though, and told the DM I will not play with someone that disrespects me like that. He said it's my decision and I left. I informed the group of my leaving, and its reason in the group chat, and the personal DMs. The DM said that he's sorry it ended like that. I told him I needed my friend to defend me in that moment. I needed him, and he sided with AP. I told him that if he surrounds himself with people that disrespect his friends like that, that I wouldn't hang out with him. He said that's my choice. I wished him well and hope that he finds friends that defend them when he needs them. So folks, I lost two people I thought were my friends. One I've known for six years. I feel awful. Now I know we're gonna be missing a little bit of context for this. I tried to find the original story, but I couldn't, I'm sorry. If anyone else can find it, feel free to link it. But just from what we have here, I'm not sure if it's because we're missing context, I do feel like the OP is a bit off. Like there's just there's just something off here and it might be because I couldn't find the original story or because some details have been left out. But either way, both of these players turning to violence and literally getting in a physical altercation, never okay. Also insulting each other, not okay. Hey, let's take a breath and talk about it like civilized people, okay? It should never get to a point where you actually are throwing insults at each other other and then throwing punches. I don't care if one person started it, you have to take the high road, because you never know what people could do. And all of this over a game? I get it. Tensions run high, things happen, but it should never get to a point where in-game grievances spill into out-of-game real life. Because that's when we have real people punching each other in the face. Okay, I'm gonna move on from that bit. If I'm just going off this story and just listening to OP, that also is really crappy that your friend, the DM of six years, didn't take your side. That seems real crappy, and I'm really sorry about that. It did sound like at the end, to your friend of six years, you were respectful and you wished him well, but yikes, yeah. I mean, the people we surround ourselves with are sometimes a reflection of ourselves, so if you surround yourself with not-so-nice people, what does that say, you know? OP, I'm glad you got out of there, and I hope you can make some new friends that aren't kinda crazy like this. Well, I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and if you want to support me and the channel, be sure to go check out my Patreon or become a YouTube channel member for as little as $1 a month. It really helps me to consistently create content, and I appreciate you so so much as well as the crit awards are happening so if you want to nominate me for best up-and-coming youtube creator the links are down below as well as all of my other socials and if you want to see your own horror story in a video be sure to tell me in the comments well that's all for now i will see you in the next one